Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Hey there, clean energy pioneers. Welcome back to Renee Energy's YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's got everyone from energy analysts to policymakers buzzing, the economics of green hydrogen. We're going to map out the path to cost parity, that magical point where green hydrogen becomes cost competitive with fossil fuels. So, grab your economic compasses, and let's chart the course to a hydrogen-powered future. Section 1, The Current State of Green Hydrogen Economics Let's start with where we are today. Green hydrogen production costs currently range from $2.50 to $6 per kilogram, depending on the region. Compare this to gray hydrogen, produced from natural gas, which costs about $1 to $2 per kilogram. It's clear we've got some ground to cover, but the gap is closing faster than many expected. The cost breakdown of green hydrogen production is illuminating. Renewable electricity typically accounts for 50 to 60% of the total cost, highlighting the crucial role that cheap renewable energy plays in making green hydrogen competitive. Electrolyzer capital costs make up another 30 to 40%, while operation and maintenance round out the final 10 to 20%. It's important to note that these costs can vary significantly based on regional factors. For instance, green hydrogen produced in Saudi Arabia might cost as little as $2.50 per kilogram, thanks to abundant solar resources. In contrast, the same hydrogen produced in Japan could cost up to $6 per kilogram due to higher electricity prices and land constraints. Section 2, Factors Driving Cost Reduction Now, let's look at the key players in bringing down these costs. Renewable energy costs have plummeted in recent years, with solar PV prices dropping a staggering 82% since 2010. Wind power hasn't been far behind, with costs falling by 39% in the same period. This trend is expected to continue, with projections suggesting a further 50% drop in renewable energy costs by 2030. Electrolyzer technology is another area seeing rapid improvements. Costs have decreased by 60% since 2010, and efficiency improvements are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Current electrolyzers operate at around 65% efficiency, but we're looking at potential efficiencies of 80% or more by 2030. As production scales up, we'll also see significant cost reductions through economies of scale. Policy support is playing a crucial role in driving down costs. Government incentives, carbon pricing mechanisms, and targets for green hydrogen use are all helping to create a favorable environment for investment and innovation. The EU's hydrogen strategy, which aims for 40 gigawatts of electrolyzer capacity by 2030, is a prime example of how policy can accelerate development. Section 3, The Path to Cost Parity So, what does the journey to cost competitiveness look like? In the near term, from 2020 to 2025, we expect costs to fall to $2.3 per kilogram in optimal locations. This will make green hydrogen competitive in niche applications, such as green steel production. Moving into the medium term, from 2025 to 2030, projected costs could reach $1.2 per kilogram in many regions. At this point, green hydrogen will become competitive in broader industrial applications and long-haul transport. Looking further ahead, beyond 2030, there's potential for costs to reach $1.00-$1.50 per kilogram in optimal conditions. At this point, green hydrogen would be widely competitive with fossil fuel alternatives across most applications. Key milestones along this journey include cost parity with gray hydrogen in some regions by 2024, competitiveness with natural gas for power generation in optimal locations by 2028, and cost parity with gray hydrogen in most regions globally by 2030. Section 4, Regional Variations and Opportunities The path to cost parity isn't uniform globally. Countries with abundant renewable energy resources, like Australia, Chile, and Saudi Arabia, are likely to see cost parity earliest. Their vast solar and wind resources drive down electricity costs, a crucial factor in green hydrogen production. Industrial hubs, such as Rotterdam in the Netherlands or Houston in the United States, could benefit from economies of scale. 
the concentration of industrial activity in these areas, combined with integration into existing infrastructure, could significantly reduce costs. Policy pioneers like Germany and Japan might accelerate cost reductions through strong government support, including incentives and R&D funding. Their commitment to developing a hydrogen economy could create a ripple effect, driving down costs globally. Interestingly, some developing countries might leapfrog straight to green hydrogen, skipping fossil fuel infrastructure entirely. Namibia's ambitious green hydrogen strategy is a prime example of this potential. Section 5, Challenges on the Path The road to cost parity isn't without its bumps. One of the biggest challenges is infrastructure development. We need significant investment in production, storage, and transport infrastructure, estimated at $11 trillion globally by 2050. This is no small feat and will require coordination between governments, industry, and investors. Competing technologies also present a challenge. Advancements in battery technology could compete with hydrogen in some sectors, particularly in light transport and short-term energy storage. Direct electrification might prove more efficient for certain applications, potentially limiting the market for green hydrogen. Market uncertainty is another hurdle. Fluctuating fossil fuel prices affect the competitiveness of green hydrogen, making it difficult to plan long-term investments. The need for long-term offtake agreements to secure investments adds another layer of complexity. Water scarcity could also be a limiting factor in some regions. While the amount of water needed for hydrogen production is relatively small compared to many industrial processes, it could still be a significant consideration in water-stressed areas. Conclusion And there you have it, folks. The path to cost parity for green hydrogen is clear, and we're accelerating down that road faster than many expected. While challenges remain, the combination of technological advancements, scaling effects, and policy support is creating a perfect storm for green hydrogen economics. Remember, reaching cost parity isn't just about making green hydrogen cheap, it's about creating a sustainable, clean energy system that can power our world without harming our planet. Every step towards cost parity is a step towards a cleaner, greener future. As we've seen, the economics of green hydrogen are rapidly improving, and the tipping point where it becomes the economically preferable option is on the horizon. For energy companies, investors, and policymakers, the message is clear, the hydrogen economy is coming, and the time to get on board is now. If you're excited about the economic potential of green hydrogen and want to dive deeper, don't forget to check out our comprehensive green hydrogen development and financing course at reneeenergy.com. We cover everything from production technologies to project financing, giving you the tools to navigate this exciting new industry. The future of energy is green, and it's looking increasingly hydrogen-powered. Stay curious, stay innovative, and keep pushing for a sustainable future. Until next time, this is Renee Energy, charting the course to a clean energy economy. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.